I have a question for you. Hi everybody, my name is Isa and this is Moody Eye Makeup channel. Today I'm gonna do a review on new lipstick and lip liner from Lisa Eldridge. She released new shade in Velvet Lipstick, which is called Velvet Blue. If you're interested in this video, then please keep on watching. But before, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You probably already know how much I love, love Lisa Eldridge. She's my idol. Um, she is the most gorgeous, sophisticated, but modern um, artist, makeup artist, and she has her own makeup line. I mean, makeup brand, sorry. Everything she releases it's incredible that doesn't mean that everything is 100 percent excellent but she has a real touch for colors and she really knows what she's releasing so you can get for almost every shade lip liner that matches the shade i mean especially with velvet lipsticks um she also has one other line of lipsticks those are really creamy so i really wanted of course to have a matching lip liner for this lipstick um the packaging is just luxurious uh heavy sleek minimalistic beautiful it has magnetic lid and then the most gorgeous part about these lipsticks is this outer texture of actual lipstick, the bullet. It looks like velvet. Um, I heard that a lot of people had problems with breakaging, um, especially those who live in like USA. I I'm not sure why that happens, but bullets tend to break off. Uh, I had only one lipstick that I previously used several times that broke. Others I haven't so far had that experience, so I really wanted to mention that because the lipstick is very expensive uh, and it's the right thing to tell you uh, because a lot of people complain about that or even they don't want to buy the lipstick because it came broken. But as I said, I'm from Europe I hadn't had that experience other than with one lipstick, but it broke like after a while. Okay, so I absolutely love to read the description of her new products. A flourishing nuanced pink red inspired by the raft blooms of an azalea. Pat on with fingertips for a fresh summer flush or wear as a full power pout. Saturated and highly pigmented lipstick with a beautiful true velvet effect on the surface of the bullet which looks exactly like velvet fabric. The formulation is a creamy hydrating matte with a slight sheen. It's not a flat matte. Oh, okay. The color is long wearing and non-drying on the lips. This shade is a classic face brightening red that suits everyone and it's a great thud whitener because she says that you can tap it on lightly for a fresh look i'm gonna do that before using any lip liner and then we will see how we can um, enhance that shade so let's see so i'm just gonna pat a little bit of the shade on okay i can probably use a little bit more Okay, so this is a diffuse, almost Korean type of look using just a little bit of the lipstick patted on the lips and you can add on a little bit of balm on top if you want to, uh, a lip gloss, clear lip gloss maybe, or with a little bit of shimmer. So now I'm gonna use lip liner for the first time. If you want to have a lip liner that doesn't disappear throughout the day this is the lip liner to go for uh, this formula it's so it's creamy but waxy at the same time i would describe it once 
it's done it's done it doesn't smudge it doesn't bleed it's a true barrier between lipstick and your skin these lip liners are so easy to use and they are very saturated with pigment which i absolutely love so this is the lip liner done now let's do the full pouch so you can see the difference mm. it's just gorgeous i mean i knew it's going to be but the way she does shades it's incredible and now i'm gonna show you the trick that she showed it once um that i love so much and i really like to do it once in a while it's to just use a brush tap it on top of your lips take off the pigment and then just add it on your cheeks now I just have to reapply my lipstick and one trick that I absolutely love to do with when I'm wearing such a bold lipstick is that I really like to use some kind of very small pencil brush and concealer or foundation sometimes it's better if the shade is a little bit lighter than your complexion it depends you should um, see what you prefer i'm just using the small amount and then i'm just like ch tracking the lip liner but just in this part so that they are a little bit more soft and blended in i think that this shade is perfect for springtime, I would say more than summertime, at least like in my books. But I can imagine this shade with gold jewelry somewhere in Croatia when I'm tanned um, on an evening walk or evening dinner. A red for a summertime type of lipstick. This is the way that I describe shades. I don't have the vocabulary and her vision, you know. I'm gonna wear it this summer. I'm going to put it right in front of me to really use it as much as I can. Um, I have this very beautiful summery dress that goes so well with this lipstick and these cheeks i have a question for you if i should include fashion on my channel or rather not or maybe include it just in my shorts but not my main videos i'm already mixing fashion and makeup on my instagram but i'm not sure if i should do that on youtube because sometimes it's better if you are really focused on only one thing but i was thinking if you would be interested in man maybe some fashion haul maybe how to wear how to pair outfits makeup how to maybe daily outfits i'm not sure you know it's something that i would like to do but it's more work for me and also i don't have the right space i mean here i have this very very small space for my studio but i don't have a space to look really professional for fashion but i really really enjoy fashion as well although i'm i probably know nothing about it but i don't know it's just a thought so please help me to comment down below um you can help me to grow my channel with subscribing and liking this video uh, and commenting whatever you can do um, i would be really really grateful uh, otherwise have a lovely lovely day and see you in my next video bye